Well, hello and welcome people of the internet to Runehaven, a voxel-based first-person roguelike dungeon crawler. Uh, if you don't know what voxel-based is, because I certainly don't, uh, basically the way it was explained to me is that every pixel or everything in the game can kind of be destroyed. So like if we punch that stuff, it breaks, punch that stuff, it breaks. Uh, obviously, like we can punch the walls. Okay, uh, now I'm going to take the torch away because it looks like there's a timer on it up in the top left. Uh, and other than that, we got kind of like a... a I'm going to call it a Minecrafty style. Of, of course, the, you know, it, it's not like block based, but it kind of has that like very minimalist look to it that I kind of associate with that. We do have a map up in the top right, health and mana down in the bottom left, our inventory. There is also a like it's a strange kind of like movement based attack system. So the way it was explained to me in the quick tutorial that kind of popped up here in the menu, I'm going to kind of hold out here just because I can hear that there are enemies on the other side of this wall. And so I don't want to go out there just yet. So let's explain a couple things. So there's a few different attacks. So if I so that is the lunge, I think, depending on the way that your mouse kind of goes. So you can see if I just slightly go up, it's more of a stab. If I go slightly down, it's a lunge. And if I go side to side, it's a side attack. Um, the way it works, oh boy, let's see if I can remember. I think if you go down, it's low damage, high crit chance. If you go up, it's high damage, low crit chance. And then I forgot what side to side was, but that was kind of interesting. Um, the other things, we have this unidentified thing. I don't know what it actually does. We have a wand here. Now, when you first start, you can see that I actually have a spell here, uh, mostly because I was kind of experimenting. So there is a rune crafting system where I'm assuming along the way we're probably going to get like scrolls or something that give us a design. So for example, if I just draw a straight line, we get a rune and that gave me this spell, um, which it's, we have nine on the wand. I don't know what that is because it's not, it seems to go down kind of arbitrarily. So I'm not exactly sure how that is working. But uh, other than that, you guys now know as much as I do. <laughs> so I guess let's just go ahead and uh, I'm going to get my axe out here just because just in case there's an enemy on the other side here, because I don't know what to expect. Uh, there's another door here. So let's just check down here. Is there anything down here? No. OK, uh, I'm assuming that since the, the map shows like the whole map that I can't just like destroy my way into another room unless there's specifically a room there. Oh, uh, we got a chest here. What do we got inside the ch Oh, wait, uh, I can pick it up, but can I, can I, oh, oh, I see. I have to break it. Okay. So we have a healing potion. Nice. Was that, was that something else shiny? No, it's just the ground being shiny. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the other room here. I'm, I'm hearing a lot of noises, but I don't know if that's just like ambient noise or if that's supposed to tell me that there are, uh, enemies around. Pick up. Can I just pick it up? Can I just drop it? Oh, I can pick it up and throw it. Okay. 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 We're, we're learning. We're learning. Is that is that technically broken? I guess it is. So what? Do, oh, okay. There's doors. I was like, where am I supposed to? Oh, okay. So that was just a tutorial map. Got it. So I might be able to break through walls. We'll have to see. Um, yeah, because that's clearly clearly closed off. What do we got here? Let's go ahead and throw those. Anything in there? No, it doesn't look like it. That just allows me to get through here. You can throw that. Anything special in there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, interesting. The This is all blocked off, so let's go this way. Do I have a run? No, I have a crouch. Yeah, see, like, I'm hearing enemy. I'm hearing things, but... Oh, we got a little friend? That ain't no friend. Get him! Get him! Yeah, that's what I thought, little buddy. You ain't no friend of mine. Oh, wait. Hold up. Hold up. What is that? Oh, Golden Scepter. Damage and knockback crit chance. Okay, what do we got here? Can I... No spell has been created. So if I do this again... Ah, so I have to create a spell for each wand, it looks like. Okay, interesting. So we got stairs there. Okay, can I shoot through here? Oh, I can. Get wrecked, idiot. Oh, wait. Maybe I can't. Oh, no, I can <laughs> get wrecked. Okay, but it went down to eight. So can I, if I craft this again, does it reset it? No. Okay, so I'm assuming eight is maybe the amount of spells that I have, but it's not. I clearly cast more than two spells there, so I'm not exactly sure what's going on there then. Uh, maybe can I use this against an enemy? I'm hearing something on my right, though. Oh, Jesus Christ. I literally jumped out of my Jesus. <laughs> Oh, okay. Yeah, you know, um, so there's a reason I don't play, not that this is a horror game, but there is a reason I do not play horror games. And that is the reason. 
because I will literally crap myself if I do. Okay, healing potion. Let's go ahead. How do I how do I use the healing potion? Oh, I just click it. Easy enough. Okay. Oh my god. Do you, I I don't know what I was expecting there, but that little guy scared the crap out of me. Ooh, another healing potion. Okay. You stupid little pea. Man, I want a melee weapon. I want a sword. Give me a sword. Come here, you little prick. Come here, you stupid little prick. I already killed your brother. I'll kill you next. Wait, we're running out of mana. That might be a problem. Ooh, what do we have here? A crystal staff. Ooh. But my mana doesn't change based on what weapon I'm using. So does this mean I... What did that do? Maybe it opened a door somewhere else? Oh, there's more map over here. Okay, so maybe there was a door that I had to open. Nothing there. There's nothing there. Oh, you know what? I bet it pulled down that, um... Uh, the grate that I was shooting through before. Yep, that's what it did. Yeah, come here. Oh, wait, 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 I don't have a spell on this. Can I just hit you? Can I just smack you with the torch? Yeah, that's right. Get wrecked. Get wrecked, you stupid little pea. Okay, this weapon does not go that far. Okay, I need to blast you with my scepter. Get out of here, you dang pea. Oh, I leveled up. What does that mean? Let's see, so see, oh, here we go. Okay, so we have three skill points. Increases movement speed, increases damage with ranged weapon, increases magic damage. Mana, oh, mana regenerates over time. Oh, okay. Increases maximum health points. So I definitely want that. And I think we don't have any ranged weapons yet. I feel like I should be going magic damage, but I don't really want to. I want to be a melee class. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one into magic damage for now, and then I'm going to save some of my points here, so that hopefully when we find a melee weapon... Ooh, bolts. Okay, well, we need a ranged weapon for that. Ooh. What's going on in here? Oh, okay, that got us to the next room. Ooh, these are pretty colors. I am a big fan of the blue and purple. Ah, oh, crap, it's dark. Jesus. Okay, let's make a new spell. So I'm assuming if if I was so inclined, I could sit here and just draw things. I'm I'm not sure if I need to find a spell before it activates, right? Maybe this like maybe this spell is just the default one that you can cast oh you know what i bet it is so okay so up in the up in the top left the third symbol uh let's see this one right here it says unidentified but that is the symbol that when i have a staff out and do this that's this symbol so i think that's what it is but other than that these weapons are the same i just don't know what the symbol is at the top All right, come on, you stupid pricks. Yeah, that's right, I hear you dropping crap. Yeah, you, you stupid bat. Get out of here. Get out of here. I'm going to use this as a weapon. Never mind. Oh, there's nothing good in it. God dang it. Okay, let's, let's open this up. Oh, Jesus Christ, you freaking bat. Get out of you, stupid prick. Oh, mana potion. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and pop that. Ooh, there's some shiny in there. God dang it, you piece of living trash. Let's get our torch out again. Uh, that looks like it's going to open up a bunch more, so let's go here first. Oh, wait, that is two. What happens if I break these? Nothing. Okay. Bronze key required. Well, I don't have that yet. 
No, I see you there, you stupid prick. There we go. I'll make a hole. Now I'll just shoot you through the hole. Oh, there's three of you? Ooh, we found a new spell. Hang on, let's let's punch him. Let's punch him with the torch. Punch him with the torch. There we go. Okay. So what do we have here? So we have do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. What does that do? Oh, we made light. So does that mean okay, so that means that this staff is the only one that Oh, I see. Okay. So we can have individual staffs for individual spells. Uh, I heard something, you prick. No? Okay. Nothing in there. I didn't, but I guess I didn't see, was it the bat that dropped that symbol? Oh, we got a pee prick. Come on, you pee prick. There we go. So this is all... So we're at zero. So what does that mean? It's not... Hmm. It's not how many... What is that? Is that intentional? Ah, okay. It's uses until it breaks. Okay. So... Oh. Oh? Uh... Okay, I have a feeling that there was maybe supposed to be a door there. <laughs> nice, new scepter. So let's go ahead and put that as a damage spell. Yeah, that's right. Come here, you stupid prick. Ooh, we got a chest. Any, any, any stragglers? No stragglers. Give me a weapon. Uh, you coward. Give me a melee weapon. Give me an axe. I mean, I do have these axes, but I have limited uses. Maybe I should just use these for a little bit. Ooh, we have a wooden wand. So, I think... Let's see. Can I... How do I, how do I drop something? Can I just... Oh, wait. What happened there? I picked it up. Bronze key, okay. Yeah, that's right. You're stuck on the wall. You prick. Uh, Man, so many of these chests just have nothing in it. It's kind of sad. I hear pee prick. Ooh, we have another crystal staff. So what happens if I pick up this? Nothing. So I feel like if if you pick up a staff of something you already have, it should maybe just reset the amount of uses. Oh, right. So, wait. So can I just... Okay, so it looks like some walls you can't break. Because if you look on the map, I need... This is on the other side of that bronze... The key... The door of the bronze key. There's the bronze key. Man. Cowards, there's just nothing in these boxes. Okay, where be you, Mr. Peeprick? Uh, still nothing. Okay. Oh, there's Bat Prick. Get out of here, Bat Prick. How close are we to leveling up? Pretty close. Okay, we need to kill, what, two more? Three more things. Three more things. Is this bronze key? No, we can get through here. Pee prick! Uh, not enough mana. Ooh, that's no good. Okay, let's go axe time. Now, my question is, does this count as a throwing, a ranged weapon, or a melee weapon? I'm assuming ranged. Is that a pee prick? Oh, it is. I thought it was a bush for a second. Come on, jump straight at me so I can hit you. There you go. Get out of my face, idiot. Okay, let's heal here real quick. 
Ooh, nice. Another healing potion. God, stupid bat. Get out of here. Hey, hey, hey. There we go. Leveled up. Nice. Okay, let's get... Um, we can do another health point. Again, I, I feel like I want to wait on, on damage because I want to find like a melee weapon that I actually like. But I'm also kind of... I mean, I guess I do have... Hmm, I do have the scepter that's, you know, has has full charges on it. There's another health potion. There's a mana potion, which unfortunately, oh, you know what I just realized? That's what I just realized. I remember re <laughs> I remember seeing that in the tutorial that there was uh, inventory space. Okay, so these we can just put down here. Obviously, because they don't need to be on there. So this, I think, I don't know if I need to hang on to it at all. So I will just for now. Let's see. So we'll do this. Uh, the throwing axe put down here because it's pretty much empty. We can put these. Let's see. Can't use these yet. I'll put these in the back. Swap them like that. Crystal staff, you can go back here. Uh, torch, you can stay in here for now. Golden scepter, boom. Okay. So we have figured out our inventory system. So you are going to be an attack. You are going to be the light. There we go. And you are also an attack. Perfect. All right. We are set up for success. So I guess now with that being the case, I'm going to get uh, a little bit more intellect here since we're kind of, it looks like we're going more faster. We do have some bolts though. Oh, and that's nice. They go directly. Okay. They do go directly there. So your items have certain uses and those will not stack, but interesting um but different like potions and stuff will freaking bat man how much damage does it actually increase it doesn't doesn't look like it added all too much damage to my attacks because I, I think i was hitting two before and now i'm hitting three but i did put two points into it Okay, so that must have opened a door somewhere else. Um, let's see, we came from that. Whoa, what's going on over here? Oh, <gasps> we got a sword. Oh man, swords have uses too. I was kind of hoping they wouldn't, but. All right, so be it. We don't have infinite swords. I guess that's fair. Ah, god dang it, you, you prick. Okay. We're going casting time. We're going casting, we're going blasting. Okay. Bat, bat, you need to get out of here. This is not your fight. Thank you. Oh my god, the skeleton is chonky. There we go. Can we take... Ooh. 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 We got another torch. Break it open. Nothing. Oh man, we split that guy in half. Oh, you want a party too, Mr. Bat? Oh, I can't open it. I need a gold key. Okay, let's go find that gold key. More mana potion. Okay. Another health potion. We're gonna be good on health for a while. Is there anyone? Is there anyone in here? Oh, I heard someone. Where is he? Where is he? He doesn't want any part of this. No, no, he doesn't. Hmm. Okay. Sketchy. Identify scroll. Well, these are unidentified. Oh, okay. I see. I figured that's what it was going to do. I just want to confirm. Oh, god dang. Okay. Okay, so there are traps that we have to worry about now. 
And we have a gold key, so we can go back here. Back through this room. What's up, bat? That's right. I'll stab you through this little grate. That's right. Come on. Come on. There you go. Okay. Some, the world is just... Oh, God. Get him. Get him. Stab him. Poke him in the butt. He's got a heart butt. There we go. Chop him. Got him. Chop him again. Chop him. Okay. Now we're, we're just going to blast him. That's not that's not my blasting spell. This is my blasting spell. There we go. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put another spell there. Ooh, unidentified. Let's identify. Where'd it go? Right here. Uh, follows the caster. Interesting. What does that mean? Oh, wait, so I can make, so I can make you follow me? What the frick? Hey, P. Okay, I don't know what this is doing. Yeah, that follow spell is doing jack all. Okay, let's, let's potion up. Okay, we'll take the staff. Yeah, I, I follow follow me. Ooh, ooh, adamantine sword. Okay, let's go ahead and swap that out. I want this over my copper sword. Silver key. All right, we're on a mission for the silver. Oh, we got pea prick. Come on, pea prick. Okay, hitboxes little little strange, <laughs> little strange sometimes. Wait, did you drop something? I thought I said drop something. No? All right. Cool enough, I suppose. Ooh, identify scroll. I hear you, little pea prick. Oh, and there's a bat. Just give him a little, just give him a little poke. A little poke and a little prick for a little prick. He's not dead. There we go. Nice. Okay. Let's go ahead and now that we have this, let's put another point into our strength. I hear him. Come on. Come on. We've leveled up. Nice. Let's go ahead and get a couple more points in strength. And then let's also do... Um, let's do more health. Anything in here? No, just another empty box. Yeah, distance with the with the melee weapons feel feels a little weird. I haven't figured out like how far exactly I need to be for our melee weapons to work. Uh, let's see. I'm going this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah this door. Oh god dang it, where did you come from, you prick? Uh that's my that's my follow spell that I don't know what it does, so let's just start blasting. There we go. Ooh wait, oh I can't pick up your sword? It looks like you have a dagger too. But I can't pick anything up. That's sad. Okay, let's oh hang on, hang on, my foot's getting caught on cords. Yes, my cable management is not that good. Don't come at me. Oh, that was a... Nah, that's a stupid wand. I don't care about the stupid stinking wand. I want a big old battle axe. There's another crystal staff. Ooh, there's, there's a little pea prick. 
Oh, I just saw sword. I just saw sword. Give me sword. Nice mana potion. Uh, iron short sword. Healing potion. Great. I'm also not sure what our goal is. Like, I mean, it, it's a dungeon crawler, so we're making our way through the dungeon. But, like, are we trying to get to a boss? Are we trying to get to the end of the dungeon and just clear it? Like, what is our... Um... Map? Oh, wait. Can I just break through this wall? Uh... Map? I, th I think you're drunk. I think you're drunk. Because there, there's definitely a wall there. Uh, but I'm I'm definitely 100% turned around now. Is this the way I was supposed to go? Let's see. Am I supposed to go maybe this way? It looks like this might be towards the end. Uh, well, it's to the end of something, I can tell you that. Okay, so that's not it. So what about through here, maybe? Yeah, no, so this is where we were before. Uh, I want to see maybe there's, uh, like, one of those doors that... Okay, so I can't go that way. So the map is a little bit screwed up from where we're actually going. So I'm wondering if there if there's maybe like a hidden door, kind of like there was before. How there there? Okay, we haven't gone this way. Got it. Okay, now we're good. We're back on track. Come here, you stupid skeleton. There we go. Nice. More swords. Another golden scepter. Okay, so we've we've hit another dead end, so we gotta go back this way. Uh let's see. Let's head the let's head uh let's see. So we gotta go through the store. We haven't gone through the store yet. Oh, stupid bat. Oh crap, my sword broke. My sword broke. Uh that's not my weapon. Which one's my weapon? Which one's my weapon? Is it this one? It's that one. That one's my weapon. Okay, let's go ahead and let's figure this out here. So let's go ahead and throw our sword here. These torches can go back into our inventory. Um, let's see, this one was... Let's get rid of this, let's pop this back in. I don't need this many weapons, so let's do this. This one be light. I think that's all I need right now. So you are going to be light. You are going to be attack. We have this. We'll use a health. We'll use a couple health potions. Okay. And now we've already been through that way. So I need to go through this door. Wait, no, no, no. So we came down through here. It went that way. So I need to go this way. And let's not open that door. Okay. Let's open that door. <laughs> I was going to say, let's not open the door until... Excuse me, sir. Okay, well, I can... Oh, I can break the door like that. Oh, okay. Come on. Come on. There we go. Oh, wait. You know what I want to look at here? Let, let me look at this. Do I still have my anime... Yeah, okay, so copper and iron. Let's look at this. So copper... Yeah, so there's only a slight difference. I So I wish I still had my, my adamantine sword. I wish the damage was spread out a little bit more. 
because it doesn't seem like the adamantine sword adamantine sword is was doing much more damage than this weapon is doing okay we have more bolts still haven't found a range weapon yet though yeah, there's something going on with the map, because the map's saying maybe it's showing multiple levels because there's verticality to this game. And the map system is just showing multiple layers. It can't, like, distinguish between the two levels. Okay, wooden wand. Oh, that does big damage. Ooh, iron cop. What the heck is that? That does better damage than my iron short sword. Let's get that in here. Uh, Well, it definitely looks the same. Oh, there we go. Okay. So it, it looks... Hey, what the... What the frick? What the frick just shot? Oh, there's a thing right here. Can I just break this? There. Um, yeah, so it, it looks like if you have a weapon equipped and then you take it off, it still thinks you have that weapon equipped. Okay, so there's nothing there. There's nothing that way. Well, let's just take a let's just take a projectile weapon. Oh god, we got range we got range boys now. Got range, boys. Come on. Come, come up to the corner, you... Pr okay, well, there's friendly fire. Yep, do, do your little stabby. Okay, yep, I feel like I should definitely be... So I think there's a couple things that I would like to see with the... Especially with the melee system. For one, I would like to see some kind of block mechanic. Um, whether that be... Maybe just add shields to the game, so you need a shield to block. But I feel like you should just be able to turn your sword, like, you know, like 45 degrees to the side to indicate that you're blocking. Because right now, my right mouse button isn't doing anything. Um, and especially with the enemies, it's, it, it's, it feels like it's not a hundred percent certain when an enemy is in range to hit you. And maybe that's just something I have to get used to, but it feels like they're a little bit farther away than they should be when they hit me. So having a block, even if it just reduces damage, could kind of mitigate that fact. Okay, this weapon's having a tough time hitting. If it's a swipe, it's having a tough time hitting. Let's see. So is that a new rune or is that the same? Yeah, it's... Okay, so we can pick up the same runes unless... It missed light. Okay. So the symbol is always the same. It always gives you the same effect. Silver key. Okay, let's make our way through here. Another torch. And I think what that could potentially do is if there is all of a sudden... Oh boy, okay, hang on. We got a range boy here too that I gotta work... Oh, Jesus. Yeah, this side swipe attack on this weapon is not good. <laughs> the... So, like, this guy in particular, the range boys, are a little bit tough to fight because they kind of just, um, okay, there we go. I was going to say, I got to kill this guy first. So, the way that it feels to me, let's go ahead and move this over, get these out of here for a second. The way that it feels to me is rather than the enemies acting kind of independently of myself, the range in me there felt like he was a hundred, like he basically locked on. And then as long as I was in his range, he was always like, he was always locking in on me as opposed to being a little bit more of a, um, what's, what's the word I want to use? 
having him be a little bit more realistic, I guess is the word I want to use, right? As opposed to his his aim being a little bit more fluid, it was like 100% locked on to me. So if I'm trying to melee him, when I'm that close to him, there's nothing I can do. It's not like I can juke him. I don't have any dodge. And because, again, I don't have any block, he's just like going to hit me if I'm using melee. Now, maybe the goal is there is then you're not going to have like one particular build. So you're not going to go through the game just as a melee character or just as a range character or just as a magic character. You need to switch your weapon to what you're fighting. That could definitely be the case. But the... Stupid. Um, but that that is just the feeling that I'm having right now. And what I was going to say is adding a system where like for melee characters or even I guess magic characters you could do it too where you can equip a shield and maybe you don't for for range characters having that be the case oh boy I don't remember where that great was having that be the case could kind of open up open you up if you have a system where you can equip a second weapon or not sorry not a second weapon but uh, a shield well, then maybe you have a situation where you can equip a torch to your character. Because right now, I feel like it's kind of a detriment. Oh, this is where I already came. It's kind of a detriment to be carrying around a torch. Now, there are torches everywhere. And when you start the game, I think... Let me just double check settings here. If I go into graphics. Yeah, so we could we could turn the game up a little bit. But I kept it at 0.3 for, for the ambiance. And then we also have the, the spell, right? Which casts light, but that doesn't come with us. And this is where, that's where the key was. We didn't go that way, so we have to go this way. Ah, there's the grate, okay. Yeah, the, the melee system is, is very weird. So, you saw there, I'm aiming right at the skeleton, and multiple times I hit here, and I hit here. Okay, so now we gotta find a gold key. So, like, I want to use the melee system, it's it's just like, it's very weird hit hitting correctly. And... There we go. Um, I'm also not a huge fan of this directional attack system. It's... Hold the phone. Is there something else in here I can throw at him? No. Yeah, you see, like, I was aiming at the skeleton, but I hit here. There we go. Um, it, it's just, like... It's already chaotic trying to fight enemies when but when you're when you're forcing your like because your camera is attached to it. So if I'm trying to fight, let's just say I don't want to hit anything because I don't want to I don't want to ruin the uh actually I'll, I'll do it with the torch because the torch is fine. I don't care if it burns out. Right? I'm sitting here fighting, I'm I'm like punching him, trying to keep my trying to keep my aim like right on this line here. And then all of a sudden I gotta start doing like these these movements. Like it, it's gonna be hard to it's gonna be hard to follow. So I, I don't think that that is super necessary. I get what they were trying to do with that. Let's see, so goal that was up here. And maybe there's still a way to do it. Just not with the current like swooping around system. Bronze key. So is this a trap that I'm seeing? What's uh what's what's going on here? Ah, no, you're just being a prick. Yeah, like I'm like I'm aiming at him and it's hitting like over here. Okay. That's that's the last time I'll I'll come on to that. Can I man, I wanna I wanna try a range weapon. I feel like it's the slat. I know I. It's like I'm not gonna comment on it. Ten seconds later, he commented on it. 
The vertical attacks and the lunges are fine. It's the side swipes that I think just need their just need their hitboxes fixed. Oh wait, weapon. Uh it's not this way, so we have to go this way. And I think it was this way, maybe, maybe not. I feel like that's incorrect. Well, we clearly came from there. I think I would also really like it if... Hang on, we got multiple skeletons I gotta fight. Okay, he can hit me with his weapon, but I can't hit him. You know what? Screw it. Uh, just environmental damage. Oh, shoot. Well, now I lost my tra train of thought. What was it? Oh, doors. I would love to see different colored doors for doors that need keys. So that way I can find them. There we go. Demo complete. Okay. So, hmm. Let, let's talk about this for a little bit. Let's go ahead and go back to the main menu. I think that overall, uh, it is an interesting, an interesting concept. I like the fact that basically, in a nutshell, what this game is, it's a, it's a kind of like a again it's kind of like a minecraft dungeon crawler at least again in terms of visual style in terms of i guess in terms of combat too um and even some of the enemies that being said um so I, i'm i'm just going to kind of like summarize a lot of my thoughts a lot of these i did talk about in the game but let me just summarize some some of my feelings I think that the actual, some of the designs, like I really liked the the rooms that held, had all the blue and purple crystals. I thought the game looks, like it looked really good. Um, some of the things that I would like to see, the combat needs to be spruced up a little bit. So unfortunately we never found a ranged weapon, which kind of sucked. I would have definitely liked to try that out. It's probably just an RNG thing, but uh, maybe they're just not implemented yet because we found a lot of weapons and not a single one was a ranged weapon. Um, I do, so I actually like the rune system. That is kind of cool where you have to find different runes, identify them. And then so each, so you can have multiple different stabs for different spells. I think that's kind of a cool system, but because that, I feel like, oh, you know what? I actually, so I always have the steam page up whenever, whenever I'm playing these games and in, in the trailer, there's definitely a crossbow. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately we, we just didn't have that available to us. So it right now, it definitely feels like magic is kind of the way to go when you're playing. I think for one, the hitboxes were the best with it. You can stay farther away from enemies so you don't take damage. Um, and you also have the ability to customize what spells you're using. Now, one of the spells, the follow spell, I didn't really know what that one was doing. I tried on enemies. They weren't like following me. It wasn't doing any kind of cast. So I'm not exactly sure what it was doing. The light was interesting, but... The way that the game is now, the a lot of the rooms weren't dark enough to ever really need it. There were torches everywhere, so it didn't feel like it was super necessary. Uh, so we only had one casting spell, and that was just kind of fine. It was just kind of like your your traditional kind of like fireball type spell. Melee felt a little weird. Lunges and like vertical slashes, the hitboxes felt fine, but anytime our sword would attack side to side, it felt like anywhere on the horizon that we were attacking the sword could hit as opposed to just having the hitbox be where my cursor was now again it's one of those things where in terms of feel i felt like i was always on target on the skeletons perhaps the times where it wasn't hitting maybe i wasn't focused entirely on the skeleton but i can guarantee you that where it was hitting was not in the center of my screen and that's really the main point is it should be hitting where the center of the screen is where my crosshair is um so i think to add another layer of melee combat i think 
it, it doesn't necessarily need to be dual weapons, but I think shields could be nice. We had a lot of we had a lot of weapons, but I think adding an armor system could be really cool too, to maybe put some like passive effects on some of your armor. And it doesn't again, it doesn't have necessarily have to be like head, neck, uh, body, pants, feet, two rings, uh, a trinket, uh, a scroll, like a, a passive pet. Like it doesn't have to be a million things. It could just be head, body, legs, feet. Just something like that. Maybe you have a secondary slot which can be used for shields, torches. Um, I don't know. I think that's all we saw in this game. But, you know, having a secondary thing there would allow for a little bit more play, especially since there's no dodge mechanic. Having something you can do as opposed to just walking back and forth with melee weapons, I think could be pretty interesting. And then, unfortunately, I don't have anything to say about range because we didn't experience that. The The dungeon themselves never felt like, well, I guess it got a little bit tougher because we had the, the skeleton enemies. But I think you could potentially increase the difficulty if you then went and also changed the damage scaling on some of your weapons. I felt like the damage scaling between, especially the melee weapons, because those are the ones that we actually had, um, you know, different types of weapons. Because like the the difference between Golden Scepter and the Crystal Staff didn't like was there a stat difference? I thought for the most part it was kind of the same. But I think there should be a bigger spike in damage. Going from 2 to 3 and 3 to 4 doesn't really feel like much of a difference. I almost feel like it should be like 2 to 4 and then maybe like, I don't know, like 5 to 8 kind of range type things. Um, because then it feels like there's a bigger, it feels like there's a bigger, what, what you want to do with these dungeon crawlers is make it so that when you find a high level item, the player feels like, yes, like I am God now. I just got a great item and I'm so excited. But the difference between finding an, an iron sword and an and, and Adam, an adamantine sword. I'm just going to call it an Addy sword from RuneScape. <laughs> when I found the Addy sword, it was just kind of like, oh, okay. It's just another sword. Like it, the cool thing was finding the, the Kopshesh or whatever, the curved sword, just because it was a new type of sword. But it was actually kind of worse because it was not hitting things and um, and the damage was basically the same. So I wish there was a little bit more kind of like when we played. Um, oh, geez. What was the game called? We played it during Steam Next Fest. There was another dun dungeon crawler where the gear that we were finding, we could have just bought in the shop. And it's like there's no ex there was no excitement to when we would find new gear because it was like, oh, I could have just bought this. So. I'm, I'm going around finding gear and it's just like not exciting. Like that's the exciting part of going through dungeon crawlers, finding sweet gear. So maybe it's just super early in development and things like that haven't kind of been fleshed out. And this is just more of like getting the mechanics of the game down. But I would definitely like to see some more stuff like that in the future. Um, And maybe adding in like more traps as well. Something to change the gameplay a little bit. I felt like... There was definitely some of that, right? We did have the arrow traps that were definitely catching me off guard. Um, but the gameplay from level to level was more or less the same. I would definitely like to see something to change how the game plays as you progress through the dungeon. And what was the last thing? There was one more thing I wanted to mention. Hold up. Let me think. Oh, yeah. Doors. Uh, give me some kind of indicator when we hit a locked door on the map. Some kind of color. They can all be the same color. Well... Depending on how your dungeons are laid out, right? I'm not sure if they're procedurally generated or not. If they are, and it's possible that you have two doors that need two different keys at the same time, you'd probably want to have them different colors. So you probably want to do that anyway, just to be safe. But definitely having doors of a different color so that we can see where you need to go on the minimap would be a huge help, huge time saver. Because otherwise, just wandering through a dungeon after you find the key, like that's part of the challenge is like go find the door, then find the key. But you've already cleared out all the enemies, so you're just kind of wasting time trying to find your way back to the door. So I feel like that would be very helpful. Um, is there anything else I want to mention that I was thinking about? I don't think so. I think that covers. I think that covers most things. Uh, I think this one is is pretty cool. I think it could be pretty fun. But again, it's pretty early on in development. We're in alpha stage. Um. But yeah, I, I'm excited to see where this one goes. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I just I just had the, the little inkling of a thought. 
and then it vanished. Okay, I apologize. It's gone. Well, guys, what did you guys think of Runehaven? And uh, I'm sure somebody's going to comment on that stupid jump scare with the bat. Frick that bat, man. <laughs> Frick that bat. <laughs> anyway, guys, if you liked the video, if you had some fun, would you kindly smash that like button? Subscribe to the channel for more roguelite action. I've been Ganyans. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see y'all next time.